God, where's its face? Oh! Hello everyone, this is iFly, and welcome to a new series installment called King Class Customs. It's a series where I'll be showing you my model trains. I guess I wanted to do this since my model showcases were loosely, or kind of loose. So as you saw in that cutscene, here he is, my Dean Goats. He was made by using a Trackmaster 2 Talking James and a spare Edward or Gordon Nintendo I have lying around. I based him off this specific image, which isn't, which if you compare it to the model, isn't really the best. But still, it's what I wanted to base it off of. When I decided I wanted to make a Dean Goods custom, I scoured all over Google looking for the right picture until I came across the one that you saw earlier. Then I posted it on Twitter and got the part, which I mentioned was a Trackmaster 2 Talking James and an Edward tender, as now as I'm looking at it, it has round buffers. The funnel, the dome, that thing all GWR engines have were actually all made by Nerf gun bullets. Here's a brief picture of the dome. It was just a Nerf gun bullet that I had laying around doing nothing, so I just decided to cut part of it and, and glue it down on the boiler. Cardboard was added to the firebox while ear cleaners were used as handrails. I cut off each side and then just glued it onto the original handrails themselves. Now, ear cleaners were used once again, but this time for the whistle. And I had to cut them very short, and I was very, very careful when gluing them on. They came off three times, and I had to re-glue them. And there's not a lot of paint around them because I was not risking them falling off again, especially after the main coat was applied. Before the whistles were applied, I added some type of thin cardboard over the cab to hide where the button was. I filled in the little gaps in the boiler using hot glue. Now that we're done talking about the body, let's move on to the tender. Unfortunately, when I was making the tender, I don't have any pictures, so this is the only picture. I cropped it from another one, which you're about to see. The tender was made out of that flimsy cardboard and real cardboard, which was being used for the top, as you can see, the, some of the sides, and also the back. The top of a Nerf gun bullet was put over this cardboard area as a, an entrance to the water tank. Now, I haven't seen much about Dean's Goods locomotives, so I added this to make this area not feel so empty. Here are some images of the model being made. And before getting painted, this is how it looks like. Again, it's the only image, and it's that one that I cropped from, so yeah, sorry. And then it was painting time. Unfortunately, I don't have any images of me painting it, or even a video, so here's a picture of it and done with its first coat of green. More 
tender information. When it came to the tender, I had actually finished early since it only needed some green and black. I was thinking about posting it on Twitter, but decided better not to. And also, it has temporary wheels since I couldn't find any black ones. After painting on the yellow, I was finally done. Unfortunately, there's only one picture of me done with the yellow, and it's not really the best, but here it is anyway. Then, I went all about the lining by using a, a orange and black Sharpie. Although it's very hard to see, I used silver for the handrails, and there's one gold stripe in the front. And one on his funnel, of course. And with that, my Dean Goods engine is finished. Honestly, I'm happy to make this custom, and I'm glad I made him. Anyway, here are some photos of my Dean Goods I posted on Twitter. And that's really it for my Dean Goods. Unfortunately, I couldn't add his sandboxes that were on the actual engine. So who do I plan to showcase next? This mess, which you'll find out in like next video. So yeah, bye.